chapters 8 through 15 of the book of Isaiah from the Holy Bible in Modern English, translated by Ferrar Fenton. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapter 8 The ever living said to me, Take a great tablet and engrave upon it with a human engraver about rushing to spoil, hastening to plunder. So I took as truthful witness to myself, Ariah the priest, and Zechariah ben Jerberechiah. Then I married the poetess, and she conceived and bore a son, and the ever-living said to me, Call his name, quick rush to spoil and plunder, for before the lad learns to say, My father and mother, the loot of Damask and the plunder of Shomeron shall be carried to the presence of the king of Ashur. And the Lord continued, commanding me to say further, Since those people despise the water of a quiet flowing stream, and delight in Retzin and ben Remaliah, the Almighty will, be sure, bring upon them the flood of a great rushing river, the king of Ashur and all his warriors, and it will march over all their brooks and all their banks. Then the flood will pass onwards to Judea, and reach to the neck, but your land shall be the full stretch of his wings." collect together you nations but you shall be broken listen lands at a distance arm yourselves but you shall be broken arm yourselves but you shall be broken decide a united scheme discuss a plan it shall not succeed for god is with us for thus has said my living god who holds me with his hand who kept from walking in the path this people take and said confirm no treaty with all whom the people wish to treat nor fear their dread and terror the lord of hosts revere and fear he was your trust and hope he was the one revered now stumbling block and rock to fall on both of israel's homes and to jerusalem's men a snare in them shall many stumbling fall be broke and snared and caught bind up the evidence impress the law upon my students and i will wait for the ever-living who has hidden his face from the house of jacob but I will wait for him. For I and the children the ever-living has given to me are signs and warnings to Israel from the Lord of hosts dwelling on Mount Zion. And when they say to you, Come to the raisers of spirits, and to those taught by the whisperers and the entranced, should not a people rather go to its God, to the living, not to the dead, to the law and its evidence? If they do not speak in accordance with it, there is no daybreak for them, but a passing over to distress and hunger. And when they hunger and suffer and curse their king and their god, they will examine the sky and search the earth, but only see trouble and darkness, oppressive blackness and driving gloom. Yet not such blackness as that which oppressed her when at a former time he denounced the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterwards more heavily the district by the sea, Galilee of the tribes beyond the Jordan. Chapter 9 The nation walking in darkness see a resplendent light. Those shut in a land of shadows, light has appeared to them. You have increased the nation, have you not increased its joy? They thank you as with thanks at harvest, as they dance when dividing spoil. For the yoke it bore, and the shoulder beam, and the driver's rod, you broke at the judgment day when every warrior's striding boot and his garments rolled in gore were burnt in devouring fire. For a son has been born, a gift to us. On his shoulder the princedom rests. The wonderful counselor, call his name, great leader, time's father, the prince of peace. Now endless order and peace shall spread o'er David's kingdom and throne to build and secure by justice and right from now to eternal time this the power of the lord of hosts will do to jacob a word the lord sent but it lighted on israel and informed all his tribe of ephraim and shomeron's people proud and big-hearted who say the brickwork has fallen we will rebuild it with marble the sycamores they have cut down but we will replace them with cedars but the lord retzin's foes will excite and join against him his opponents Aram in front, and Philistia behind, wide-mouthed shall devour Israel. For all this his anger turns not, but his hand is extended still. Yet the nation, though struck, will not turn, nor seek for the ruler of armies. 
so the lord will from israel cut off head and tail root and twig in a day the judge and the noble are head and the tail is the false visioned prophet those who mislead them are blessed by this race and their blessing destroys them so my prince delights not in its youths nor pities its widows and orphans for they are all wicked and worthless and every mouth speaks in deception for all this his anger turns not but his hand is extended still for like fire in briars and thorns shall wickedness flare up consume and kindle the trash and fiercely the smoke shall roll when the lord of hosts anger burns up the land and the people are fuel none pities his brother but tears his right hand and is hungry and unsatisfied eats of his left each devouring the flesh of his arm manasseh of ephraim ephraim of manasseh and both of them joined upon judah for all this his anger turns not but his hand is extended still chapter ten woe you enactors of wicked decrees and pronouncers of cruel decisions to turn off the weak from their right and strip my poor people of justice to make widows their prey and orphans their spoil what will you do in the day of assize which will come from afar with a crash to whom will you fly to seek help and with whom will you hide up your wealth abandoned by me you will crouch in your chains or fall down with the wounded for all this his anger turns not but his hand is extended still woe to ashur the rod of my anger he is only the stick in the hand of my rage to a nation depraved i will send him and over my people revolted a point to plunder the plunder and spoiling to spoil and lay them for treading like dirt in the streets but he does not know it his heart does not think so his wish is to waste and destroy many nations for he says are not each of my captains like kings and is not calno become like carchemish and is not hamath become like to arpad and shomeron like to damascus how he says did my hands find the kingdoms and gods are jerusalem's and shomeron's finer why as to shomeron i did and her godlings should i not to jerusalem do and her buildings but when on jerusalem and on mount zion my prince has completed the whole of his work he will pour on the proud-hearted monarch of ashur the fruit of his splendor and pride of his eyes who says i have worked by my courage and wisdom when prudent i swept off the boundaries of nations and crushed like a hero the dwellers in them and my hand found a nest with the wealth of the peoples and i gathered the unguarded eggs of all lands i swept up for myself and no wing dared to strike nor any mouth open or chatter at me how can the axe boast as if using its wielder and the saw as much more than the sawyer who drives the club as not wood raise its hand on its user for this the almighty commander of armies will send a consumption upon all his fatness and under his glory light slow creeping fire israel's light be the fire and his holy the flame and in a day burn up his thorns and his briars and his glorious forest and sweet-smelling carmel shall depress the whole mass like a leader who faints and the number of trees that remain to his forest shall be what an infant can easily count and then israel's remnant and jacob's delivered shall no more be relying upon their oppressor but in truth trust jehovah the holy of israel and the fragment of israel return to his powerful god though israel your people are like to the sea sands the rest will return when washed pure and clean the rest will come to him like perfect washed gold for the great lord of hosts will perfect and refine the works he will do in the breast of the earth therefore thus says the lord ever living of hosts fear not ashur my people in zion who dwell though his rod and staff strike as they served you in mitzer for my anger and wrath will end in his destruction when the lord of hosts swings up about him his lash which he used upon midian beside oreb's rock and his rod which he raised at the sea against mitzer and on that day his load shall be rolled off your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke chafe be healed he has come up to araf passed over to migron and he has at michmash reviewed all his armies has crossed by the passes and rests at logiba now rama trembles saul's gebeth has fled let your voice shriek beth galim that laish may hear it alas poor anathoth madmina is shaken the hillmen fly from him he now stands on nob shakes his fist at beth zion jerusalem's hills 
now the great lord of hosts cuts his branch with a rush and his high top cut off on the mountains is strewn and with iron he goes round his forests and lebanon's glory will fall chapter eleven then a branch will shoot out from the stalk of jesai and a shoot from his roots will spring up and upon him the spirit of life will remain and the spirit of wisdom and spirit of foresight with the spirit of counsel and power the spirit of knowledge and fear of the lord and being inspired by the fear of the lord he will never decide by the glance of the eyes nor punish by rumour that comes to his ears but he by the right will decide for the weak and with justice will strike for the poor of the earth by the rod of his mouth he will conquer the world and its wickedness slay by the breath of his lips for righteousness will be the belt of his waist and the truth shall engirdle his robe then the wolf shall reside with the lamb and the leopard lie down with the kid and the calf and the tiger and lion agree and a little child lead them about and the cow and the bear will be friends and together their children shall lie and the lion eat hay like the ox then the infant can play at the hole of the asp and even lay hand on the den of the adder they shall not hurt or harm on all my holy hill for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of god like the waters flow over the sea then the tree of jesai will be the banner of tribes to whom nations will rush and rely on his might and my prince will add twice to his power to collect the remains of his race who are left from ashur and mitzer and pathros and from cush and from ilam and shinar and from kamath and out from the isles of the sea and then he will raise up a flag to the heathen and all israel's wanderers and judah's dispersion from the four wings of the earth will collect and turn off ephraim's envy and judah's oppression nor ephraim envy judah nor judah vex ephraim but westward will fly at the side of philistia and together will plunder the sons of the east and throw out their hands upon edom and moab and bring to subjection the children of ammon and the lord dry the tongue of the mitzarite sea shake his hand o'er the river in violent wind make its seven streams fail and be travelled in shoes and become a highway for the rest of his people who are still scattered in ashur as to israel it was in the day he came up out of mitzer chapter twelve in that day you must sing i will praise you jehovah for your anger with me into mercy has turned god who saved me i trust you and no more will dread for you lord are my vigour and song ever living and you are a saviour to me so draw water with joy from the wells of salvation at that time you must say praise the lord call on his name proclaim to the peoples his wonders make him remembered and lift up his name sing to the lord for the splendid result proclaim it to all on the earth cheer loud and shout o you people of zion for israel's holy is great in your midst chapter thirteen the doom of babylon that isaiah ben amos foresaw hoist the standard to view on the hill call to them and with a hand beckon and the princes will enter the gates i have commanded my saints i have called to my heroes my fierce and my proud and my haughty the high hills re-echo a great people's movement the sound of the leaders of nations collecting the lord of hosts mustering his army for battle they come from a land at a distance from the boundary of heaven and the lord with his weapon of anger to punish your land howl for the day of the lord is arriving like a robber for plunder it comes therefore all hands hang down and each man's heart will melt will be terrified tortured and writhe in anguish like women in childbirth each his friend will affright face flaming to face look the lord's day has come fierce o'erwhelming and furious with anger to turn the earth into a waste and the wicked destroy upon her then the stars of the skies and the planets will no longer shine with their light in darkness the sun will come forth and the moon will not give out her beam when i visit her sin on the world and on the wicked their crime make the pride of the haughty to cease and the might of the terrible fall and make mortals more precious than gold and mankind than the purest from ophir for the heavens will tremble earth shake from her place at the lord of hosts anger and day of fierce wrath they shall be like a stag or a shepherdless flock each to his nation will fly and every one march to his land 
and all met will be stabbed all caught by the sword their children flung down in their sight their homes plundered and ravished their wives for i will raise on them the medes whom silver will never restrain and who have no desire for gold their archers will break the young men nor pity the fruit of the womb nor their eyes have regard to a child and babel the swell of the kingdoms the crown of the pride of chaldees like gomorrah and sodom whom god overwhelmed not inhabited ever or dwelt in for ages nor camp there the arabs nor shepherds their pasture but wild beasts shall cower with yells fill their houses and daughters of woe shall reside and the gorilla shall dance and her widowhood hyenas mourn and snakes in her temples delight and soon it will come for her period shall not be for long chapter fourteen for the lord will have pity on jacob and israel once more will select and comfort them on their own land and the stranger shall gather to them and cling to the household of jacob and our tribes take them and bear to their homes when israel's house rules the land of the lord and the masters he served be his servants and maids and he shall subdue his oppressors then when the lord frees you from grief and from fear and from the hard slavery you slaved you can raise up these verses against babel's king how failed the tyrant the gold seeker perished the lord broke the rod of the wicked the stick of the driver whose fury struck peoples who with strokes never ceasing chased nations in anger he is now helpless driven all the earth laughs in peace and breaks out into song yes the pine trees laugh at you and lebanon's cedars since you fell no fellers have come up against us the grave below mourns you and comes out to meet you the rephaim strip for you and rise all the heroes of earth from their beds all the kings of the heathen grieve for you and say have you become feeble like us unkingdomed as we your pomp sinks to the grave with the sound of your vials your couch is the maggot your covering the worm how fell you from heaven bright sun of the morning down down to the earth you destroyer of nations though you said in your heart i will rise up to heaven exalt my throne over the stars of its god and reside on the hill of the seasons be adored like the north i will rise o'er the heights of the clouds i will make myself like the most high but now you are hurled to the grave you are kicked to the pit those who see you upon you will gaze reflecting that this was the man shook the earth and made kingdoms afraid made the world like a desert its cities destroyed and sent not his prisoners home all the kings of the nations the whole rest in honor each one in his house but you are flung out of your grave like a careless guard slain in the dark by the stab of a sword is flung to the stones in a pit as a corpse trodden down you shall not join them in the tomb for your own land you ravaged your people you slew the seed of the wicked shall never be famed prepare death for his sons for the sin of their father let them never more rise to seize hold of the earth and fill all the world with their crimes and i will rise on them the lord of hosts says and will cut off from babel her name and her marriage and offspring and race says the lord and make her the bittern's estate with pools for the reeds and sweep with a broom of destruction the lord of hosts says the lord of hosts promised and swore it shall become as i said and as i determine shall stand in my land to smash ashur tread him down on my hills take from them his yoke and remove his load from off their backs this purpose is fixed for all over the earth and mine is the hand which controls every race so the lord of hosts fixes and who can annul his hand is controlling who can turn it back this burden came in the year that ahaz died rejoice not philosheth so fully that the rod of your conqueror has broke an asp springs from the egg of the serpent and its fruit is an adder with wings but the poor weak and wretched shall feed and in safety repose when i kill by famine your root and your fragments are slain cheer and shout gate and town all philistia dissolves a smoke comes from the north not alone but in masses and what should be said to the national leader that the lord has built zion and in her the poor people trust chapter fifteen 
because in a night Ar of Moab is ruined, be silent, because in a night Kir of Moab is ruined, be silent. Go up to Baith and Dibon the higher, to weep over Nebo and over Medeba. How, O Moab, bareheaded, with all your beard shaven? In his streets they gird sacks on the walls. In the squares all fall howling in tears, and Heshbon and Alala shriek out to jots. Their voices re-echo. Moab's joints ache, and his soul is distracted. My heart cries for Moab at her flight like a three-year-old heifer to Zoar, for she mounts up to Lilith in tears, and raises on Horanim's roadway a shriek of despair, for the waters of Nimrim are failing, grass withers, plants perish, and nothing is green. Therefore the wealth they had made and collected the Arabs bear off to their vale, for the shriek has gone round all the borders of Moab. At Aglin they wail, and will wail at bar -Alam. When the rivers of Dimon are filled full of blood, but I will set worse upon Dimon, a lion to chase out of Moab and shatter the land. The end of chapters eight through fifteen.